if we take samples at the end of a sewer network, we get a snapshot of what's going on in the entire city. So we, we know is the, uh, uh, the, the burden of infections going up or down. With PCR testing facilities like this one open to only a few in Quebec and the majority having to use rapid antigen testing kits, Quebec has restarted tracing COVID-19 through wastewater after the project came to an end December. Now we're in a phase where it's rapid test, but then there's not that report. The, the reporting mechanism isn't as easy um, and we don't necessarily know what's going on. Sarah Dorner, a professor at Polytechnic who had been sampling wastewater for COVID-19 since February 2020, says the project is important to facilitate as the amount of tests, trace and isolate measures are significantly lower compared to that of 2020. It's a PCR test, so we have that sample, we can look at the trends, and then there's that genetic material that we can also use for the sequencing to get a sense of, of the variants of concern that are, like, are circulating in a population. It's a way to monitor uh, a pandemic uh, without using a lot of resources, uh, but still get a, a very broad view of what is happening. Dominique Frigon from McGill University Civil Engineering Department, who also began testing wastewater in 2020, says the end of the project in last December was unfortunate as it could have provided key information in the trends of the virus. In, uh, in January, at some point, we were wondering, uh, have we reached the, the peak of, of the fifth wave? Have, have we not reached the peak? And in the end, nobody had the data. Uh, the wastewater uh, sampling uh, and analysis could actually have told us with hard data that we were we would have been either at that point at the peak or not, you know, where the peak really was. Dominique Fligon, now continuing to do so for McGill residents, says it provides a sense of security. They know what's happening around them, you know, and, and whether the, the, the infections um, the burden is out of control or, or you know, it's it's staying at a, at a reasonable level. The INSPQ says with the project just starting once again, they still do not have any results to share with the public. Something Dorner says she hopes will become public once the information is there. It, uh, it's very useful for people to know what those trends are in their community for, for individual risk-based decision-making. In Montreal, Felicia Adam, City News.